Hello, fourth graders. Um, the story you guys should be going over this week is called Amphibian Alert. It's about amphibians and habitats and everything, so I thought I'd give you a little bit more information about amphibians. It's a book called Amphibians. So um, it's something that we don't really talk much about. We don't think about them so much because they're kind of hide, I guess. So um, hopefully this will just give you a little bit more information and you'll go out and look for them a little bit more. So I hope you enjoy a little story. Amphibians. And this book is by Ted O'Hare. There's the different things we'll be talking about in this book. Amphibians. Amphibians are one of the animal groups known as vertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with backbones. Frogs, toads, and salamanders are all vertebrates, and they are all amphibians. Amphibians begin their lives in water. As adults, most amphibians can live on land. Amphibians have soft bodies that are covered by skin that is usually moist. They don't have scales, fur, or feathers. Most adult amphibians are at home both in water and on land. Amphibian habitats. Amphibians are cold-blooded. This means their body temperature changes with the air or water temperature around them. Amphibians cannot live in extreme heat or cold. Amphibians look for cool, damp hiding places on warm days. They are most active on warm, rainy nights. Then they travel from land to water to find mates. Did you know amphibians get away from cold or dry weather by burrowing? They stay underground and wait for warm or wet weather. And this picture here is showing a toad. Toads attract mates by calling through their throat sacs. <laughs> kind of crazy. Kinds of amphibians. Scientists have found about 3,200 species or kinds of amphibians. Most of them are frogs and toads. Salamanders make up about 300 species. Legless Sicilians are the third group of, of amphibians. Sicilians do not live in the United States or Canada. Did you know many salamanders have no lungs? They breathe through their skin. A few salamanders breathe through gills. This picture here is um, a newt. This young newt lives on land. When it gets older, it will live in water. Kind of looks like a salamander there too. Where amphibians live. Amphibians live in places with a damp, mild climate. This keeps them from drying out. Amphibians live on every continent except Antarctica. Most adult amphibians spend time both on land and in water. A few spend time in underground burrows. This here is a grotto salamander. It doesn't need to see because it lives in a cave. Kind of crazy. The toad has rough skin, unlike the smoother frog, and toads don't cause warts. I don't know if you can see down here. This big amphibia salamander at the lower left is prey for a sandhill crane. Amphibian bodies. As a group, amphibians are the smallest vertebrates. They are rarely longer than six inches. Most do not weigh more than two ounces. North American amphibian, amphibia salamanders, though, can be nearly four feet long. How would you like to see a salamander that big? Amphibians generally have four legs. Some salamanders only have two. Did you know? Some amphibians can change skin color to match their surroundings. And this here, this salamander has no lungs and breathes through its skin. Amazing amphibians. Some tree frogs never leave their homes in trees. They lay their eggs in leaf cups of water. In the rainforest of South America, poison arrow frogs are colorful but deadly. Their bodies make poison that native people use on the tips of their arrows. Did you know 
The world's largest amphibian is the Japanese salamander. It can grow up to five feet long. That's about as big as you guys are. This here is the poison arrow frog. Its bright colors may warn predators to stay away. Predator and prey. Most amphibians are predators. They catch each other and smaller animals to eat. Most of their prey are insects. Amphibians are prey as well as predators. Amphibians usually capture prey with their sticky tongues. A few species have sharp teeth. An earthworm becomes prey for a tiger salamander. Baby amphibians. Adult amphibians usually lay their eggs in water. Babies hatch from these jelly-like masses of eggs. Most newborn amphibians are fish-like larvae or tadpoles. They breathe through gills. Most babies don't look much like they will when they grow up. Young frogs lose their tails. They develop legs and lungs. Soon they can leave the water and breathe air. This here is a wood frog tadpole is beginning to develop hind legs. Still has a tail and getting some hind legs. People and amphibians. Amphibians lead very private lives. They hide in ponds, streams, soft soil, and damp leaves. People don't often see them, but they can hear their buzzes and croaks. Amphibians help us by eating insects. We can help them by protecting the land where they live. And that is the end. Well, hopefully you guys learned a little bit more about amphibians with that book that I just read. And like it said, they kind of like to hide and not be seen. Um, on our farm, we see toads all the time. They can hear the frogs. And every now and again, we'll catch a salamander. They're actually pretty big, probably four or five inches long. Not the four or five feet long. That'd be kind of crazy to see one that big. So when it gets a little bit warmer out, maybe you'll be out and about and find a salamander or two. So hopefully you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.